I'm going to illustrate the white soap for you, as I said. So I have my ingredients lined up here. My measuring, the, my mixing cap, positive sugar solution cap. This is the whitener. That's the whitener. My fragrance oil, any fragrance of your choice. My soda ash. And my caustic soda solution is already here. My oil. Oil of your choice. Alright. Then I will use a silicone mold. So this is my silicone mold. So first of all, I need a protective gloves to protect my hands from caustic soda burning. So I will measure, I'm going to use 300 grams of oil. So I will take 150 grams of caustic soda solution. Caustic soda is more, so I'm going to fetch out the essence. So I'll put it aside. Then I'll put my mixing cup. I will measure my oil, which is 300 grams. All right. So I will take it off the scale. Now I'm going to add my my um, I'll add my soda ash. Two teaspoons. Then I'll mix it. Then I'll mix it so that it will incorporate well. I don't want to use a stick blender. I just want to use the manual way for you to see that even with the manual, it still works. So I'm going to add my white now. Just one teaspoon is okay. With the amount of oil I took. So I'm mixing. see how it has incorporated in the oil there are no lumps you, you understand yes so um I'm going to add my fragrance oil to it. You see how fluffy and nice it is. So it, it works as I was saying, it incorporates. So it also depends on where you bought the color. I don't know. So that is it. So I wait till it dries and then I will mold and then do a video of the molding to and send it to you to see the final of it. I hope you 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 get it. Once I was recording, somebody called into it, so the the beginning of it cut off. We poured into containers. If you can come closer, we do it. So we see how fluffy and smooth it is. Cocoa butter normally is not light, especially the cream. It's not light unless you want to turn it into lotion. Then you can liquidate it by adding either more oil or water. I prefer water because the more oil you add to it, the greasy it becomes. Now, because it's, it goes onto the skin and, and enters into your pores, we don't add soap color to it. We add food color. Do you realize that we added food color? Cocoa butter is not green. But if you want to do it green, you can add food color green. If you want to do the chocolate cocoa butter, you add cocoa powder to it. 
you dissolve it with part of the water, like the way we did with the sodium benzoate, then you add it to it. No, we have the chocolate cocoa butter. And if you want to do it, it's the same process. All you do is that dissolve the cocoa powder with water and add it to it. That's all. Make sure your containers are clean. Sometimes you can spray rubbing alcohol into it to sanitize it clean because this is going to the skin. We don't want it to develop molds, we don't want it to develop any bacteria. So make sure your containers are clean. Then we pour our water into it. So after pouring in the containers, it's still hot, so you will leave it overnight, or you leave it like 30 to 45 minutes, so that it doesn't condense, the vapor that comes out of it doesn't condense to form water. But the moment water goes into it, you have to add another preservative. But you don't know the amount of water that has gone into it. So normally we leave it open until it cools down, like 30 minutes, then you can cover them with the lid. So, with the soap, as the tutorial is saying, measure all the oils in the mixing bucket or a bowl add all ingredients to it and then start to mix the all ingredients if you're doing skin lightening cake soup facial soup or um, whatever soup you're making you measure the oils you add all other ingredients you add your color then you mix it. okay so by then you have already measured your caustic soda solution so add the caustic soda solution to the oil then you blend till trace. Tracing, tracing is when you realize that the oil and the, and the caustic soda has mixed. That is trace. It means that it's ready to be poured into your mold. Either you are using silicone mold or you are using wooden mold. So this is an example of a silicone mold you're going to use. If you're using wooden mold this is also an example of a wooden mold and we have silicone mold so before you add your caustic soda solution to the oil your your mold should be ready then you mix. so in the book you will see that it says that stay till trace Tracing is when you have seen that the oil and the cotton soda has mixed and the surface looks like thick porridge. Mm? It has mixed. So it means it has traced. Tracing means that it's ready to be poured. So I'm going to pour it into my mold. So when pouring, lift it a little bit so that you have control over the pouring. You see? that is pouring in it and it's getting full if you don't do it like that if it's getting full you may not see and then it will pour out So all the soap has been poured into the mold. And it's waiting to to dry. When it dries, you will unmold it from the mold and it becomes like this. You can unmold it after five hours, it will dry and become cake. Then it will become cool. Then you remove it from the mold. We call it unmolding. So you can use the same process for this one like this is neem soup. This is orange peel soup. This is activated charcoal facial soup. This is um, shea butter soup. So any soap at all you want to make, you can use the same process. Measure your ingredients into your mixing bowl or mixing bucket as we used. If you don't have the stick blender, you can use wooden spatula. 
you can use wooden spatula to mix until it's traced. As I said, tracing is when you see that the epoxic soda solution you poured and then the oil has mixed and the surface looks like porridge. It means it has traced. It's ready to be poured. If it doesn't mix well and you pour it, it will not come out well. So you have to allow it to mix well. And the surface, you will see that the surface will change. It will look thick or it looks like some porridge. That's it, when it's ready to be poured. The same process can be used for any type of soap, laundry soap, whatever it is. It's the same process. Mix your oils down. Mix your caustic soda solution, which is you take one, one kilo of caustic soda, you take two, three liters of water, you add it, you mix until the water becomes clear again. When you are mixing, you have to wear protective uh, um, gadgets. Like you have to wear gloves, you have to wear goggles or any spectacle that will cover your eyes because caustic soda is very corrosive. When you read the handouts well, I think it's in it. So you have to be careful when you're using caustic soda. Then you measure the amount you need. You add it to the oil, you mix it, then it traces and you pour into your mold. These are silicone molds. If you want a wooden mold, any size, you buy it or you do it yourself. Then you pour your soap into it. When it dries, you remove it. Then it becomes like this cake soap. It depends on the mold you use and the design you will get.